everybody, I'm Sean Emerson, and today I'm going to show you how to roast a chicken like this one in a Dutch oven. It's really easy and takes just a few short steps. Because my chicken's small, it only took me about three and a half hours, so maybe you can have dinner tonight. Anyway, hang out with us as we show you how to make this. Our ingredients today are a small fryer chicken, salt, pepper, chili, basil, Italian seasoning, lemon, onion, garlic, bay leaf, celery, and carrot. You're also going to need cooking oil and butter or margarine. Once you have all your vegetables chopped and prepped, you're going to want to season the inside of your, tur your chicken with all of the uh, spices that I mentioned earlier. Then we're going to stuff these inside. Some bay leaves, onion, carrot, basically all of the ingredients we had before. These smaller chunks are going in, and these larger chunks I'm going to cut slits in the, ch in the skin and shove under. I'll show you more about that later. Now we have our chicken stuffed. You basically put as much of the vegetables in there as you can fit. At this point, you stick your finger in underneath the skin like this, and you can actually clear it out and make a gap in there. We take this as the place to put garlic, which, you know, is kind of necessary because it's garlic and it's delicious. And it should just slip just one piece at a time underneath the skin. You can see it under there. You just put it back into the chicken. Now in there, we're going to do this to both sides of the bird. If your skin doesn't separate easily, you can always cut slits and put them in there. But I prefer to do it this way, so I'm not cutting the meat. I'm just putting garlic in it. Okay. Any extra vegetables that you have that didn't fit in the chicken can be put inside the bottom of your pan. Um, you're going to want to toss these with a bit of canola oil or olive oil um, and then add some of your spices to them. These are going to be the base of your chicken. Um, the chicken sits on top of these things to keep it off the bottom so that it doesn't burn and you don't have to peel away some of the skin from the base. At this point, you're going to want to put your chicken on top of your vegetables and rub a bunch of butter and margarine all over it to get it nice and coated. This will help give you some crispy skin. Now you take your spice mixture and liberally put it all over that chicken. All over the place. You might want to add some extra salt. Whatever you want to do. Make sure that you get plenty of this on there. And then we take our lemon and we just squeeze it all over. Just half the lemon, we don't need the other half. Okay, at this point you're ready to put it in the oven. I've got a cover that I put on it and then it goes in at 350. It's been about an hour and a half now and my chicken's actually cooking a lot faster than I anticipated because it's smaller than I thought. As you can see, the drumstick is loose which means that the uh, chicken is pretty much done. At this point, I'm going to uncover it and cook it for another half hour, which gives me a chance to make some potatoes to go with it as a nice side dish. With about um, five minutes to go, I'm probably going to put some spinach on. That's going to be our vegetable. Anyway, I'll see you in a half hour when the top of this should be a lot crisper so that we can get some of that delicious skin we love. And there we are. After another hour and 15 minutes, our chicken's ready. It's all nice and brown on the top, our potatoes are done, and I've got some spinach cooking, so we've got a whole meal ready to go here. <clears throat> it's quite easy to do. If you have a larger chicken, make sure that you check the temperature inside to be sure that it's cooked all the way through. Anyway, I'm going to let this rest for about five minutes so that the juices aren't going to all come out when I cut it, and then I'm going to make a plate and show you what it all looks like. And there you have it. After some easy preparation and waiting around for the oven, we've got ourselves a delicious meal. Pair with your favorite sides. I've picked roast potatoes and sautéed spinach. Remember, don't forget to check out my other videos. You might find something else that you want to cook for supper. Thanks!